How can you draw shapes when only given lengths of sides? In this lesson, you will learn how to draw geometric shapes by using a given length of sides. Let's review. There are many different types of quadrilaterals. So we have rectangles, parallelograms, trapezoids, rhombus, as well as squares. A common mistake is that when given measurements of sides for triangles or quadrilaterals, it is often assumed that there is only one type that you can draw. Let's go to our core lesson. Draw a triangle that has one side that is 7 units long and one side that is 9 units long. Is there more than one triangle we could draw? So here we have our coordinate plane and we know that we have one side that's 7 units, one side that is 9 units long. So we can start by drawing a line that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units long. So we're going to use that as our base in this triangle. And then we'll make this a right triangle. Um, and we'll use 7 as our height. So there we have 7 as our height. And now all we have to do to complete this triangle is to draw a line across. Now, what if we use 7 as our base and 9 as our height? Is that going to make a different triangle, or is that triangle going to be congruent to the one that we just, just drew? Well, let's find out. Let's use 9 as our height, 7 as our base, and we'll connect the two of those. And we do find that those are actually congruent triangles. So if we just flip one and slide it, uh, they'll be able to fit right on top of one another. Now. Is there any other way that we could possibly make a triangle, a different type of triangle, uh, using those measurements? Well, why don't we try it with, again, 9 as our base. And then what if we use 7 as one side, and we make an isosceles triangle, which would mean that we would also have 7 units on our other side as well. So we can do one side as 7 units and then we can do another side as seven units and we can in fact make an isosceles triangle using those measurements. So you can make more than one different type of triangle and of course you could also do a triangle with the base of seven and then side lengths of nine as well. Draw a quadrilateral with two sides of four inches and two sides of five inches. What types of what type of quadrilaterals could we draw? Well, the first thing that we want to take a look at is we know that we have two sides of four inches and two sides of five inches. So we have two congruent sides. So we need to think about what type of shapes we can make using those measurements. So what types of shapes do you think that we could make using that? Well, in this case, I know right away that a rectangle has two sets of congruent sides. So I could definitely make a rectangle with that. So why don't we use our ruler? And we'll start by drawing one of our sides. So we'll go five inches. And of course, if we do that, our opposite side also needs to be five inches. And that means that our other sides will be four inches. So let's add another side to it. And we'll go four inches. And then, of course, our opposite sides will be parallel and congruent. So we end up with a rectangle. Now, what other shapes could we make with that? Well, I also know that a parallelogram has two sets of congruent sides as well. So we can start by doing, we'll do a side as four inches again. And of course you could do a side as five inches as well. Um, but we'll use four inches in this instance. And then of course we'll make our top five inches. And then opposite sides will just have to be congruent with our congruent and parallel to the sides that we've already created. And we can also make a parallelogram. Now, of course, that means that we could not make a square because not all the sides are congruent. We could not make a rhombus because, again, not all the sides are congruent. And we couldn't make a trapezoid either, um, simply because our measurements would be a little bit off. Um, so it would be a little bit too difficult to do. And, of course, we would end up just making a rectangle instead. In this lesson, you have learned how to draw geometric shapes by using a given length of sides.